designing your own home as an architect, you really get to experience the same issues that your own clients have and really the empathy that you get from having gone through the exact same process as your clients um, I think makes you a better practitioner to really understand your clients needs and objectives. To actually go and live in your own project is, um, is the hallmark of a successful architect in my opinion because you get to see all the strengths and the weaknesses of your design. One of the things I'm always advising clients to do is to design some of the key spaces in the home to be about them and what it is that is them. And I like to think that a lot of the travels that my wife and I have done throughout Japan and really experiencing those temples and experiences that connect you to nature and the idea of floating just above the garden were kind of influential in terms of our approach to the living spaces in the home, but it was also this love of literature and this love of books that inspired the kind of the wraparound bookshelf and library and staircase and really overlaying our exploration as a firm and as a practice into some curved geometries and that organic natural sensation and experience that curves create. We've explored so many different ideas along similar themes as a result of this one catalyst project. It's been a really um, a great thing to do as a practice. Some of the most important lessons that you learn in designing your own home is uh, just that functional planning and the family dynamic and, and they're things that you just can't rush which is the process of designing the home and getting that functional brief is a critical component um, and following a process and you know ensuring that the spaces that you design can be flexible and can change over the time and adapt to the, uh, the ever-changing needs of a household. But it's also important to acknowledge the amount of changes that we made in, in the process and it solidifies our kind of position of working collaboratively with our clients and openly to ensure that the design is not a static piece and a kind of take it or leave it approach but something that is it does evolve over the journey of the architect's involvement and particularly through the course of the construction I see that now as a really pivotal role. It's one thing to design things on paper that look beautiful but to go there and experience it and say actually, I think we got this slightly wrong. Let's talk about this, let's review this, let's come up with a better solution. I think that's a, a really important part of the architectural commission. We really took a concerted effort to concentrate on the, on the fundamental aspects of building orientation, cross ventilation, natural light. Sustainability is much more ingrained in the actual functionality of the house and how it works day to day and it's very very difficult when you're designing a home uh, for somebody and the commission starts and the block faces west and so from day one you're kind of you're chasing your tail to try and create a sustainable outcome it's very difficult so it's very important to get aspect right and that comes down to the right uh, block of land in the first instance so we really like to get in there early and advise our clients on on what to buy. Personally, I've always subscribed to the belief that powerful architecture can really enrich lives and improve things vastly uh, for those who live in it. Having designed your own home, you really get to you know, put your money where your mouth is and what you really believe in is, is tested. And certainly having gone through the journey myself and designed this home for my family, it really the power of good architecture has the power to change lives. and, and the experience of day-to-day -day living in a beautiful space really just makes the soul sing.